What is it that you wish to confess today? Oh, I'm muted. Shit. Sorry, my bad. <clears throat> you lied. You're gonna die. But that's besides the point. Yippee! Yippee! Oh. Hello, spades. What are the sins that you wish to confess today? I am here to admit something I do not regret and would probably do again. So, a couple years ago, me and my friends are playing some Apex. Well, we somehow we got on to a topic of uh, the characters, you know, certain artwork for them. Yes. And I decided it'd be funny to send a picture of a of Watson, one of the characters, but with a little bit of an extra package. Mm-hmm. To the not vanilla one, and then we joked about it, and I decided, okay, this time, because the other guy was curious, so I sent it to him. When I tell you, I've never heard that man yell as loud as he did. He panicked so hard, he didn't even realize another character was in that picture. <laughs> and now he never trusts to open my DMs. And to this day, I still will send spoiled images to him, most of which aren't not safe work. <laughs> Just to instill the fear of God in him. You're bullying this poor man. You're making him live life on the edge. I can't absolve you of your sins. I do appreciate sharing cultured material with individuals. But this man lives in fear every day of his life when he gets a notification for you. And that can't be forgiven. You're gonna go straight to hell for that one. I'm sorry, Spades. That's un sorry, that's where all the fun people are at. Can't wait to traumatize them. Too. I mean, that's a terrible thing. Uh, you, you shouldn't do that. And um, uh, uh, God would greatly dislike you for traumatizing people. But you yes, can. But you know, you know what God would like, though. Hmm. If we got five gifted subs right now. Hello. Uh... What sins do we have to confess today, Crab? Uh. I have to confess because I lied. You lied? Yeah, I, I lied about an injury to doctors and my family. Uh, okay, please please explain why this sin of yours is weighing down on you. So I told them a long time ago that the reason why my nose is slightly messed up and why I have a few scars is because of tripping over gravel and planting my face into a car door while being drunk. Mm -hmm. That's not what happened. While crossfaded, I jumped out of the third floor of a building into a tree because I was having a panic attack and thought I needed to escape. Oh no! They tried to lock me in their apartment, saying that um, I was safer in their apartment than trying to get home, and I took that personally. But I could have just unlocked the front door and left, because <laughs> they were all asleep, but I was like, no, no. The door is locked. I can't get out. So you survive. Any punishment that you would have uh, experienced from God has already been dealt. And I'm assuming you're never going to put yourself in that situation again. Of that It was kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. I might do it again. I don't know. It felt cool jumping from the third floor to a small tree. I broke the tree and it's still broken. They haven't replaced it. Are you okay besides that though? I'm, I'm still here. I mean, true. <laughs> You know what? I, I will forgive you for that sin as lying to cover up for like that is probably a lot better than having to explain the entire situation. And you already suffered enough from being crossfaded like that. <laughs> All reasoning is gone. There is only window. Yeah, so I had to do a long jump from the third floor <laughs> into a tree. You're absolved of your sins, and but to pay penance, if there is anything left, please go plant a tree or a small bush just somewhere. <clears throat> <laughs> I I will make sure to do that. I will I will plant a tree. Thank you for confessing your sins. So I used to work for a orchard farmer, and I had just put in 80 hours a week for this gentleman. Mm -hmm. And I got informed that I was not getting paid, even though I was still owed $1,200. Oh. So I ended up going, when I got a new job, in the middle of the night on a Friday, rode my bike down to the orchard with an ax in my bag and proceeded to go and chain up the bike, walk down the bike or the, the small dirt road and proceed to destroy every single one of the water spigots that watered the trees 
every single host connection to all the pipe and anything that could have basically helped the orchard but also when you turn on the water to leave a gigantic mess so after doing so a couple weeks go by and i get a phone call and the gentleman's all like hey did you know all my water spigots are broken i'm going nah I, d I don't know what happened i've been at work i got a new job and he's like well i gotta, gotta put up new cameras and i'm like oh you probably should do that you should probably catch that guy whoever did it and i haven't heard back from him since <laughs> but yeah i figured not gonna get paid my twelve hundred dollars after working 80 hours in 100 degree heat yeah i'm gonna put matters in my own hands i would say you're absolved by default and that this was a game of tit for tat dude i would i probably do a lot worse <laughs> and break all the water spigot i probably would have had to go at the trees too hello sister ami yes uh forgive me for i have sinned mm -hmm. well when i was feeding my cats a treat I decided to mess with her and faked giving her a treat while holding the, uh, the actual treats behind my back where she couldn't see and acted like I had thrown the treat behind her. Mm -hmm. She did not take that very well. I ended up getting clawed to the leg for that one. I have to say, withholding treats from a pet is straight to hell if you're tricking them. If you're actually giving it to them, that's fine. But you denied her the reality. And she... Heavenly judgment was dealt upon you by the claw of her paws. I yeah, was, well, it wasn't her that actually clawed me, it was her sister. She knew what you did to her. When I was little, I used to visit my grandpa. And I would always brush his hair and do little hairstyles and all of that. And uh, my mom, one day... What are you... What product are you putting on your grandpa's hair i was like let me clarify i was like five or six mm -hmm. i was baby bit it in my hand and showed her and she freaked out because i you you're spitting in your grandpa's head this whole time and then my grandpa was like let her be her her spit is holy <laughs> And I just continue doing that. You know what? I think you're absolved of your sins because your grandpa's like, no, you know what? She's having fun. Let her do her thing. That's so cute. Oh, bless. Judgment, not guilty. Straight to heaven. What is weighing on your shoulders that you must tell? Heavenly Mother, I must confess to you and the chat that I went to Magfest about three weeks ago mm -hmm. and... I got stepped up by a bunch of dummy mummies and it was like completely hot and shit. You know what? There is no sin to be committed here. Thank you for your confession as well. May you go on to get stepped on by more hot women. More by the way, first time here. I love it here. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it here. Buddha ain't got nothing on him. Man has, man has achieved peace, true happiness. Confess your sins when you're ready. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What is it that weighs so heavy on your shoulders that you must come in here today? I have many sins, many, many sins, but today I decided I'd give you the tamest sin. The tamest, okay. So it is a rite of passage as young men uh, in primary school to have competitions to see who can piss the furthest or the highest. And the windows for our bathroom are basically on the ceiling. I managed to angle my piss out the window and I pissed on some kid's head. <laughs> and there was about eight of us in the bathroom and we all just walked out like nothing happened while well, this kid was screaming covered in piss. Were you ever found <laughs> out about your crimes? No, I just walked up, pretended like nothing ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> I can't absolve you of your sins, for that is a crime that must must go punished and not unpunished. You traumatized a child for life, and now they'll never be able to either embrace their pissing kink or to now they're just into it as like that's you've either ruined someone in more than one way. I'm if just, it makes you feel any better. I got cosmic justice because a couple years later, it happened to me. <laughs> you know what? You have paid for your crime. Never mind. You're not going straight to hell. It, it came back around eventually. <laughs> Thank you for confessing your sins. 
Hello. Nice car. Thanks. I don't have one. <laughs> Alrighty. Let me know if my volume's okay or not. Your volume is okay, Ari. Thank you for All tuning right. in. What is the sin that you wish to confess today? Okay, so basically, starting a few days ago, things between myself and a female friend have gotten pretty spicy. Uh, we've been sending some pictures back and forth. Back and forth. She likes the way that I look. I like the way she looks. You know. That's cute. Um, so I was in class for this, and uh, she sent me a picture. Now I wasn't sure if this was a safe for work picture or whatnot. Um, so I just opened it, thinking nothing of it. Some of my friends were around me. And as it turns out, my game of roulette turned to roll spicy picture. Oh no. And um, they all looked at my phone. I don't know why. They just did. And they see spicy picture. And they all literally yelled. And this was like on like break in class. So like the professor wasn't in. It was literally just my friends in the room. And they all literally yelled, damn, you really going to open that shit in public, bro? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I wasn't aware it was going to be a spicy picture. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> Their next sentence was, are you going to leave her hanging? So my straight up deadpan reaction was, no, and you shall suffer for this. Oh. As I pull up my uh, <sighs> spicy pictures and videos folders of me in front of them. Putting my ass on blast. Not giving a shit. They got much more than they bargained for. They have not been able to look at me the same. <laughs> and yeah. they. I don't know why that they're more concerned that I'd be opening a spicy picture when they've seen my Twitter feed. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I would say, Ari, with the confession that you just gave, you're absolved of your sins because not only did you fucking step up, like, you you stood by your word and you at, straight up actually dominated. I, there is no going to hell for this one because you stood by your guns and there was no shame in it. And I duly think that they are very intimidated by that prowess, if not courage. To do what you yeah. do. Yeah. They told me not to wear gray sweatpants again. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never be able to not think of your juicy ass and uh, without uh, those gray sweatpants. Look! <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, chat. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for confessing your sins. And Thank you may for you go forth me. and and have a fruitful relationship with this individual. <laughs> I will try. Thank you very much. Thank you for sharing. Gray sweatpants do in fact get very sweaty. They are the ones that have like the most visible, I think, lines and whatnot. That's why when you go to the gym, they typically say if you're wearing gray you want attention because everything is more visible. And to, I thought he was gonna whip out his dick too! I honestly was expecting that. What is the oh. sin that you wish to confess today? <laughs> hey, Ami, how you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> All right, well, first off, I'd like to say, back in my previous, the sin I like to confess is, back in the day, I used to hang out with a bunch of bad people. <laughs> so, yeah. So one of my buddies of mine, he acquired something that we shouldn't have, a, a certain book that we shouldn't have. The mafia voice. And let's just say Suddenly. it just it just shows you a bunch of stuff you're not supposed to be doing, right? Mm -hmm, <laughs> I'll mm -hmm. leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. So one time we hung around with a bunch of my buddies and we were bored. And we decided to try one of these recipes from this book, certain book. And let's just say I call it, we call it explosive Play-Doh. <laughs> okay. I, I know what book you're talking about. <laughs> oh, no, you know, yep, you know. So uh, we're like looking at each other. We're like, you know, it's like, 
what should we do with this? It's like, should we do something? I was like, we're bored. I was like, let's find something to do. And we're like, okay. I was like, we know this one spot out in a levee. It was like a levee. And there was a an abandoned car. And we were like curious about it. See how much we, um, uh, how powerful we made it. So we ended up, me and my buddies ended up, we put it, we put this explosive play-doh underneath the car. And we thought we were like, Pretty enough, far enough, far enough, right? So we were like oh. maybe I would say about um, say a good ten feet away from this thing, and as soon as this thing let off, we got knocked back about three feet on our ass. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and the car disappeared, gone. <laughs> gone. We we're like, holy shit! I was like, that was awesome. <laughs> And to this day, I think we left like a three foot crater. And to this day, I can go back and we actually, the crater is still there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> day. So I... yeah, <laughs> it's fucking crazy. It was nuts. We didn't, I... we did not realize that it was going to be that powerful. <laughs> no, typically you don't. I will have to say, though, you will only be absolved of your sins with some community service because you gotta make up for the fact you sent a car sky high, if not, like, all over the place. <laughs> Tidy up right. your local community, pick some rubbish up, put it in the bin, and God will forgive you for blowing something up. Whoop! Star! <clears throat> I mean, not stars! <laughs> Hi, what sins do you wish to confess today? Well, if I'm, if I'm perfectly honest, I think I might have already been punished for this sin. I'm just, I guess I'm here to ask if I have been. It's a little spicy, so bear with me. Um, so my first time uh, doing anything <laughs> sexual and uh, anything at all, I, um, <laughs> I was with a, a boy that I traveled like 200 miles to see and in the middle of everything i uh i started giving my first um bj mm -hmm. and and it was awkward but at the end it got even more awkward because it uh it shot right into my eye and uh wait wait are started... you a girl from the confession earlier when someone said <laughs> No, I swear to God, I swear to God. No, but it shot into my eye and it burned. It burned so bad on me. I thought I was gonna lose my vision. I, I, I was washing my eye for fucking 20 minutes. And it wasn't until we got to contact solution that it finally like calmed down. Oh my and God. At that point, I was kind of like going to church every day. And I was like, I, this is my punishment. I was like, th for doing this before marriage, how how did, how dare I do this? And I was fucking terrified until I was like 18. <laughs> so, oh my I don't know. I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for doing that before marriage. How dare I? I showed thine ankle. <laughs> A little bit more than ankle, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will absolve so you of your sins, because not only did you end up suffering for the, the sins that you committed, but you went to church afterwards anyways to absolve yourself further. You are fully <laughs> forgiven, and may you never be shot in the eye ever again. Thank you. I'm blessed to say that I'm with my fiancé, and he has outstanding aim. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ame. It was lovely to talk to you. <laughs> it's lovely to see you on as well. Thank you. Love you. Have a good night. Okay, whoever whoever confessed to the Goger eye shot, we need to talk. Uh, Kravod, what is the sin that you wish to confess to today? Back in my younger days, uh, I wasn't very much of a uh, upright person, I guess I should say. And essentially, let's just say that I was the guy that was NTRing people. Oh. Yeah. Um, if I just want to give a few examples... One was particularly uh, with, well, to face a complete stranger, but through someone else I knew, and I knew that they were in a relationship with someone. Another was with a uh, former ex of mine on a couple of occasions, and the last one actually was with uh, someone who was seeing one of my uh, best friends at the time. So, 
I know that I will not be absolved of these sins. That's okay. But <laughs> I'm willing to uh, accept whatever punishment or uh, whatever I need to do for penance. Well, depending on how egregious these actions are, I would say the penance as a way to be forgiven for the sins you have committed, that if you ever plan to go to a strip club or a men's bar in the future, that you give any of the, the ladies there at the night a generous tip, and I mean of the monetary value, not of... Not of yes, of course. Of cash, mm -hmm. cash value, yes. Mm -hmm. A very generous tip. Oh, that's a given. Tip. That's a given. Yes, uh, uh, to make their night worthwhile and make them feel better about the work that they do. And you may have a drink as well to forget about the sins you have right. committed as the night, uh, okay. you know. Uh, one question. Does it count if some of the friends that I have are actually strippers at the club, regardless of their male or female? You know like... what? You can make up for the fact that if those are individuals you NTR'd by monetary value as well. Ooh, yes. No, sadly, sadly, no, no, those aren't, or actually, fortunately, no, those aren't of the same pe uh, group of people. But okay. I understand. Yes, the, if they are friends, that that makes up for the fact, and yes, I will I will allow that, and as well as some um, uh, fifty Hello Kitties on your behalf uh, of the Hail Mary variety. And all shall be forgiven. It's still straight to hell. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's fine. I got a nice place down there waiting for me anyways. I'll just get there sooner than later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go there sooner rather than later. Express ticket, baby. Hell yeah. Damn, I didn't expect someone to be like, yeah, NTR, so whatever. <laughs> that's crazy. Now he just cucks people. <laughs> I love that. It shall be good down there. It's true, at least the company will be good down there. I will out myself, Sister Ame. This is Cheshire. Um, Hello, Cheshire. Thank you for confirming your name uh, and your location and place and date of birth. <laughs> uh, the doxing has begun, and <laughs> I must confess that I do believe my sin is unforgivable by the strictest definition of the term. Oh? Um, as a couple of the subjects may be a tad on the serious side, this mm -hmm. will be given in the form of a green text, so as to alleviate the seriousness of the situation. That would help, yes, thank you. So, be me. Be in a relationship with a fiancé. Be cheated on by said fiancé by best friend. Uh, do you want to talk to Provard, depressed. by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not in this case, but perhaps in another life. <clears throat> of course, go on, go on. Um, be understandably depressed for several years. Uh, have good friend approach me, offering a chance for a foursome. Uh... Feel slightly horny, accept his proposal. <laughs> the night begins, and only one of the girls shows up. Oh. Friend demands the front. I demand on recompense to at least be able to eat the front before we begin. <laughs> she requests that she has whipped cream placed on because she is embarrassed. <laughs> Assent to agreement and begin to eat. <clears throat> begin to note the distinct taste and texture of rubber. Start to question whether this individual is indeed female. The act begins, and I am flaccid. Uh -oh. Blame the cold because we are doing it outside. The act ends, and we all go our separate ways for the night. Mm -hmm. Do not tell friend in question that I question the gender of the individual. Mm -hmm. Three years later, still have not told friend in question who passes away. Oh? And I can never let him know 
what I knew of that night. Oh. Holy crap. There is no recompense for what has been done. There is no recompense. No, you're going straight to hell. I'm sorry. There is no way to absolve yourself of your sins. I only ask with your divine intervention to at least request an air conditioning unit within my cell. You know what? We'll allow for that. Hell is pretty hot. You gotta have some comfort to remind you that there was someone in this world that forgave you for what you've done. You're not Thank forgiven. you, Sister Ame. You're welcome. Thank you for confessing your sins. You're welcome, chat. Peace. What is it that you wish to confess to today? Hello, Sister Ame. I've oh. been a bad in your PC. Oh? So, about five years ago, I was dating this woman, and things were good until they uh, weren't. Hmm? That girl had a guy on the side, which oh. led to uh, things starting to dissolve. One of my best friends from high school said, you know what you do? Hmm? You get back at her. I said, hold on. Let him cook. What do you have in mind? You need to show her what she's missing. I said, oh. good lord, man, spit it out. I said, take a towel, wrap it around yourself, send her a picture of what she's not going to get. I said, son of a bitch. I'm in. <laughs> so, go back to the house, wrap a towel, said, I'm going to take this a step further. Because, you know, fuck her for cheating. But, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, take picture. Write on text. Thinking about you. Miss you. Oh, no. Not two minutes later. I get back. Oh, really? Well, maybe we should meet up and talk. Instantly block her. Now. Normal story about, you know, revenge. Revenge. Light revenge, yeah? Mm hmm What she didn't know was what the picture was. Oh? For cheating on me? I'm not gonna send her a picture of my... She doesn't get to see what the fuck she missed out on. So what she didn't know is she was looking at a picture of the banana underneath the towel. Because <laughs> fuck her <laughs> for cheating on me and thinking... She was going to see my junk. <laughs> I like to think that if she ever got off to the picture, she got off to a banana. Off to a banana. <laughs> you know what? You're absolved of any lewd sin that you may have committed, considering you also were the one that got fucked over and you got revenge. They're only straight to heaven, no hell for you. Definitely hell for her. But not for you yourself, no sorry. Thank, thank you. You're welcome, and thank you for confessing your sins today. Valhalla welcomes you, lad. <laughs> you Valhalla. Oh, it was great, thank you. Damn! If she ever learns she'll go ape shit. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact, Cravard, that like everyone's like, yeah, so this girl cheated, and it's like, Cravard. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Hello. What? Hello. What would you like to confess today, Breaker? <sighs> I have I have a story of some slight revenge, but also as a as a good Protestant, I don't recognize confession as a thing. So this is just for the hell of it. <laughs> this is just for the hell of it. That's okay. This is all fun and games. <sighs> so many many a year ago, uh, I worked for Radio Shack, Ooh. and the predominance of what they wanted us to do was cell phone upgrades. Always got to get the people with them with the cell phone upgrades, you know. Mm -hmm. Fuck actually doing anything to help. So so this guy comes in and he had a AT&T phone. He was going to get it up, do his upgrade because his phone was broken. The reason his phone was broken uh, was because he was being arrested by the Chicago PD uh, because he was violating a separation order with oh. his ex-wife and the cops bounced his ass off the curb and broke his phone. <laughs> So he was coming in, coming in hot and pissed. And I'm, I'm doing the upgrade. I'm in the system. The system is slow. So this guy's screaming at me. Um, 
here's the thing uh, the dude was a manlet he was like maybe five foot four five foot five and I'm six three so he's like screaming at me I'm gonna come here I'm, what the fuck is taking so long how does, how does it take so goddamn long to do anything around here oh my god I'm gonna come back and throw a brick through your goddamn window I, I'm like I must have been getting really red in the face because I'm ready to squash this dude like a Goomba and Mario and he jumps back and like starts screaming at me about giving him the evil eye I'm like sir this is what my face looks like if you have a problem you're more than welcome to call our corporate number right here um, so afterwards, I get the upgrade done. So now our store's got the credit for the sale. Cool, I'm happy with this. And on the way out, and he's, he's screaming at me again to my face. Like, you got, you're a piece of shit. I'm gonna throw a brick through this window. I swear to God, I'm coming back. And I said, sir, you look at this. See the, see the camera over my head? It sees me smiling. I look like a reasonable individual. And you're screaming at me like an insane person. So here's what's gonna happen. If I see you again, I'm going to pound you into a pulp, pour you out onto the curb, and let the Chicago police come and sweep up whatever remains of you after that. Are we clear? So he runs out of the store. Uh, here's the thing, I still had his new phone number, his email address, his name, and his address. Oh. Um, I went down to the personal ad section of Craigslist, put, uh, went to the, um, let's just say I filled out a profile of basically every type of fetish thing that I could think of and put his name, address, and phone number in there. <laughs> oh my god. Did anything come of that? I I don't know. I'd, li I'd like to think that uh, it bounced around various communities within Chicago for a while and he got some people looking for a good time showing up at his house. There are no sins that have been committed here, only righteous justice in my eyes and of the eyes of God. So, I think you're absolved of all your sins today, if you have committed any, and you're forgiven for only doing what was right. Thank you, sister. We didn't even hit the stories of uh, me getting into college parties when I was 16 years old because I had a beard and spoke Swedish. That's a story <laughs> for another time. <laughs> We will save that for another time, but thank you for today's confession. It is appreciated. <laughs> thank you, Ami. Bye, chat. That was good. Dude, righteous justice at its finest. My goodness. Also, thank you for everything today, guys. I had so much fucking fun. Like, oh my god. Hold on, I gotta get my ass back onto the other screen. Excuse me. We have done sincere damage today. Yes, we have. Dude, you guys are great. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. Some of them were like really intense, but I still liked it. Like, oh my God. Hold on, I can unpause my alerts now though, at least. Alrighty. Again, thank you for so many of you confessing today. I was like worried no one would actually like, or like there would only be a few people that did like the vocal confessions, but there were so many of you. So thank you.